act of indigenization. I'll just put it into three categorization. Why we need indigenization? Why do you require to reinvent the wheel? One, where is the market? Why we? I mean, if the indigenization is to be done, why we? And then the impact. We were talking yesterday also with some of our old friends together. I'll quote here two incidences. They are from the war front. And that would, I hope, would clearly give an idea of why indigenization. And in erstwhile Israel Arab war, Egypt had a very good air defense systems. They were Russian systems amalgamated with the westernized, of, of westernized radars because the radars provided by the Russians were of the short range and then the weapon has a very good range beyond that. First day of air attack, out of the five aircrafts coming to attack, only two could return back, three were down. Israel had a major setback. Two days there was a lull, then came an attack. Pilots flew almost at the level of uh, palm tree top. But they were more confident that they will not be seen. A glitch came in the westernized radar at a nook of time, nick of time, when the radar got reset, the eyes were shut. No one on the border was aware to know that there is an air attack which is incoming. Whereas the fighters knew the exact position where the radars are located. They came cleaned off the radars. For next three days, Israeli aircrafts bombarded like anything. A small, who mentioned, I think, Rajan mentioned that a country even a smaller size than a Kera had a clean sweep into the war front. The aircrafts were not seen. The radars were shut. Just for a few moments. Why that glitch happened? Why the whole radars were shut? Nobody knew. Exit. And French missile had shown its real might in the Falkland War. Argentines have used it. They sunk even the British war ships. Iraq had 22 of them. What happened? Like this is launch, a glitch comes, the missile gets ditched. It never reached its target. There was a malfunctioning into the software of that missile. How it happened exactly at that moment? These are the questions one needs to ask oneself. This is what can happen if we are dependent on the weapon systems imported. And this is why our armed forces will never be comfortable. Let the arm or let the weapon be top notch in its technology. But will it serve the purpose at the right time? It would be a million dollar question. And that is where we can say and we can understand why indigenization is required. Then why we? Where is the market? Is the market in US? Is the market in Western countries? Is China the market? No. Commodore Bhargava has just shown $250 billion. The market is right over here. then why you should not have the lion's share? Today, that lion's share is with someone else. It's not because you don't have capabilities. I fully believe. 
Mr. Rahul Chaudhary mentioned that in his speech that I remember a few years back when the then Defence Minister handed over the Akash weapon system ceremonially to Air Force. He didn't mention. What more sound example you require for Make in India? 265 private industries and only 5 PSUs. It is to that odd proportion people have delivered. No one has a doubt. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3 repeated more number of vendors as the orders uh, were even further blown up. We are talking even further orders in that line. Mind well, if I quote unquote, this is the golden era for defense development and manufacturing in India. I'm sure it will, everybody will agree with that. Who has to take the advantage? It is MSMEs. The integrators, the large integrators would be surely happy to integrate the system. Who will support them? You ask both of them if they have to install a couple of CNCs, VMCs. The issue will have to go to their board. It will be discussed. It won't be a decision within few hours or few days. Whereas for an SME, who is a single entrepreneur, technocrat, if he understands this is the requirement, I would need to do that, he will take that bold decision. It doesn't take time. He will be able to deliver. That is what is required. We are not asking you people to, big, to grow suddenly overnight as a very big integrator. Your own capabilities, just flash them. Just utilize them to the full potential. And I'm sure all of you, you will understand this impact of indigenization. Thanks to some of the efforts taken here in Pune, he was mentioning about that IV is there already in the blood. Yes, the large uh, service fraternity which resides in Pune. I remember two, two, three decades back, Major General Deshpande, who initiated the activity like Dima, we are fortunate today that Dr. Vishwas Udpikar is here representing Dima as Vice President. Small fraternity, they are all SMEs in electronics. They came together, formed in consortia and they understood that they have a tremendous potential. That is what is required. Every one of you, you have vertical in your own field. The product needs two or three such verticals coming together and delivering a product. What happens is when the inquiry goes, I see my vertical, Are I can do only a part of this. How do I deliver? I do not know that next man to me can help me. The third man, maybe in Thana or maybe in Aurangabad, can help me. And we put together can deliver this. There is no such response. And in absence of this response, the whole order goes to some imported Tom, Dick and Harry. Why? It is because we haven't understood our own potential. Please rise up. Rise up, start and understanding your own potential. Make consortia. There is nothing better than dia. They have opened up a nice forum for all of you. They will share their own experiences. They will facilitate you to come together. They will guide you how to deliver a product. What more than this you require? You have your knowledge base. You have your own finances. If the order goes beyond some finance limit, how to support that also, people will come and let you know. I am sure, uh, sometime back when I was talking with uh, Captain Kalra, he said, Nay, sahab. We had a couple of very good people. There was a split in the partnership. The man who was core in the technology, he called, I'm trying to find out some job. We were surprised. Why? He was asked, believe me, that gentleman was taken to somebody who can support his activity financially. The, he went back again as an entrepreneur, supported 
that financer who had no clue about the technology involved. Today that unit is very well nurtured and supporting the major integrator. The integrators also are, have a strong belief in you. What an MSME can do as a vertical that every time a major integrator won't be able to do, won't be able to innovate, won't be able to spend time, money and manpower for such an innovation. But you are the people. You are the ones who can do this. And I'm sure this, what Commodore Bhargava also mentioned, a breathe of fresh air. Yes, there is a change. How many of you would know that this change has come to a level even Babu Dome or even the minister calls back to Bhargava or to Rahul Chaudhary, ki please, we are formulating this type of a policy. Can I get your inputs? Have you heard ever this was happening? No. And that's why I call, this is the golden era in the Indian defense industry. It is uh, you people, you have to understand that how it can help you, all of you, to raise to the occasion, maybe our own efforts can make this golden era into platinum and diamond. I earnestly request all of you to be the member of DIA. Uh, I can't become because I'm on the other side of the table, but I would surely love to see this strength goes because it will surely help me. I'll quote you only one example and stop. I remember way, way back in 1987 till 90, uh, Mr. Rahul Chaudhary would recollect that we developed first Akash launcher on BMP based tank. It took us three and a half to four years to develop the first prototype. Last November, December, we have uh, delivered a latest uh, missile launcher for QRSAM. From paper design to realization of first prototype, it just took 11 months. Believe me, this can happen here in India. And God forbid, tomorrow there is going to be the first flight on that launcher. What more confidence you require? Can it happen without the support of MSMEs? It will never be. Can it happen unless there is a hand in glow from a designer to the deliverable, it will never happen. But it is a realization today. Even at DRDO headquarters, people couldn't believe, so they checked up physically that what we were talking. The skill sets, the tools, the facilitation, everything has nurtured now to a level that it just took 11 months from a paper design or a scratch design to delivery of the first launcher in hardware, in reality, 11 months. I think more than this, I need not to tell what is an impact of indigenization. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.